Welcome to another AirHub tutorial. In this video, we'll cover AirHub's training and skills, demonstrating its benefits for your organization. Let's begin by setting up a training. Click the new button in the header to open a dialog where you can enter the training details. It's important to use a clear naming convention, something like training code plus objective. Next, describe the training by outlining the required tasks for completion. Assigning categories to your training streamlines organization. It allows you to easily filter and locate specific trainings as needed. Select the roles that should participate in the training. When you assign a role, all members with that role will automatically find the training in their to-do list. Additionally, you have the flexibility to set the training as a one-time requirement or configure it to recur at specified intervals throughout the year. Lastly, you can upload attachments relevant to the training. If you have filled out all the necessary information, simply press Save to create the training. That covers the process of setting up a training. Next, we'll delve into the topic of training completions. In this video we'll explore the definition of training completions and discuss the two perspectives involved, the training manager and the trainee. From the training manager's perspective, training completions allow the manager to track the completion rates and identify areas where additional support or improvements may be needed. To add completions, simply navigate to the training detail view and select the members tab. Here, you'll find an overview of all the team members who need to complete the training. To add a training completion, just click on the plus button. Provide a skill level and feedback. When you're done just press save, and you're all set. Now, let's shift our focus to the trainee's perspective on requesting training completions. In this video, we will discuss the process of requesting training completions from the perspective of a trainee. As a trainee, Go to Training and Skills to find the list of the training and skills you need to complete. To request a completion for a training, simply open it by clicking on it. This will take you to the Training Detail page. On this page, you can read about the training objective and how to complete the training. Once you completed a training, you can request a completion by clicking the Request Completion button located in the header. A dialog will appear, allowing you to write a message to your training manager. Additionally, you have the option to upload a file as proof of your completion, for example something like a certificate. Once you have filled in all the required information, simply press Submit, and your training manager will receive the request. And that's it. You have successfully requested a training completion as a trainee. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the process of reviewing training completion requests submitted by trainees. Let's begin by navigating to the Training and Skills module. Open the Review tab to access the list of requests awaiting your attention. To review a training completion request, simply click on the Review button. A dialog will appear, displaying the specific request for your evaluation. Here you will find a message from the trainee, along with accompanying documents verifying their completion. At this point, you have the option to either reject or accept the completion. Feel free to provide a skill level rating and leave any necessary feedback. Once you have diligently filled in the required information, finalize the review process by clicking the Submit button. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the review of the training completion request, and the trainee will now be notified.